Okay, next up, let's do just feeling like doing one of the Starlight Dynamics maps. So that'll be star O2. And it's just that, making sure I don't have the stuff loaded. Great. So I just want to say for, this is actually the hardest one in the set, if I'm remembering it correctly. I wasn't, but it was still a little challenging because where's my armor? One of the uh, later maps in afternoon that I played super recently, literally today, was, yeah, that's the only secret, and I'm not even going to use Berserk, was um, a map with no armor at all, so it was really rough. And this is a map with a pretty heavy hitscan uh, presence, so not having armor is, is tough. Now I do want to point out, this is not one of the I'm showing off my skill wads. This is some guy posted something on Doom World. It looked interesting, and I want to show it off. You know, maybe you check it out. Maybe. I think these are like healthily designed tech bases in terms of, hey, I didn't get that lost. <laughs> Uh, it, it does run into, and this is kind on me for like being dumb, I guess. It does run into the issue where it says like the plasma shotgun, and it's like, then maybe it should use cells, but then if you make it say cells, that gets confusing because you're used to cells being at the bottom. I'm going to be complaining about this all the time once I start uploading uh, the quinary conundrum videos because they actually do it worse than this in terms of that tiny tiny nitpick uh, this map is uh, this set rather is actually pretty vanilla the shotgun shoots a little bit quicker but for the most part it's the same the rocket launcher seems to shoot a little bit slower chain gun seems about the same but they look cool, and you know, that genuinely that is what counts a lot of the time. I'm playing RE4, and 4 Ada just got smacked. I did have a little difficulty with ammo in my practice run of this. So I'm, I'm trying to not waste too much, but I also know these, these are relatively chill maps, so I'm not going to worry about it. Excessively. Excessively. Ooh, how do I how do I say this without sounding like a hypocrite? So in the past I've complained about not really complained about it, because it's not a bad thing. It's just me saying a consideration in the other direction. So some map sets have uh, sparks when you shoot revenants, because hey, they have bone, they, they don't have any blood. So why you shouldn't get blood from them. Same, same for Lost Souls. Um, and my concern is that yeah, those plasma shells, right? It looks like it should give you cells, but it gives you shells. It's a little confusing. For the most part, it wasn't that big of a deal because you don't get to use the plasma that much in this map set anyway. Oh, okay. So I, I didn't usually like that change, even though it makes sense. Because it's hard to tell if I'm shooting the Revenant. Like, if they're near a wall and I see sparks, usually that means I missed. And now I see sparks and I'm like, wait, does that mean I hit him? Obviously, it's not that big of a deal. Like, just be good at the game, haha. 
Also, this is a cool little effect where you go through and it's like detox, space detox, whatever, you know, that sci-fi steam thing they do. Honestly, not sure what it's for. Oh, gotta spam that chain gun. There's a lot of chain gun ammo around here. There I go. Get it. Pick it up. Go zap zap. So yeah, I've said it can be a little bit hard to tell. However, I don't mind the change with the Revenant. Fireball looks like... That's how you can tell it's boom. Well, that's not entirely true, because if it, it was like the last hit where he went over and died. Yeah. But the Revenant has a different color fireball in this that's like an electric zappy thing. So why do I think it's okay for there? There's something about this shotgun that, that works, you know? It doesn't, like, sound power. It does sound a little slappy slap. Also, new enemy type. Uh, I'm always saying, genuinely I'm saying this more often than I would have expected. Those are just regular hell knights, by the way. Even though they look like bruisers. Um, I'm always saying Doom needs a low health, aggressive flyer that shoots projectiles. Judgment has a ton of these, literally like three or four, I think three. And this set has those floaty dudes who have very low health, and it seems like they have Wolfenstein SS behavior where they go tap, 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 two shots, but they take a pause, then shoot again. Like a Rachnatron behavior, chain gunner behavior where they keep shooting. Yeah, I like this shotgun more than I thought it would. Because at first I was like, yeah, you know, it kind of sounds a little, little slappy. But then I'm like, wait, this looks like the Free Doom SSG. Don't complain if that's not what it looks like. I have like two minutes on Free Doom. I, I respect the project, but I haven't really played it. It looks like the Free Doom SSG. It has a, a pretty good reload animation. I like that little maneuver he does. It's kind of funny how, like, I don't know. I just imagine him, like, daintily putting the shell in the shotgun with that movement. Let's watch the whole, whole view. And it does reload a little faster. That's my, that's the big thing. Yeah. It just kind of goes boop. Yeah, it, it reloads just a tiny bit faster, just like the plasma normal shotgun, I guess. Wait. Wait a sec. He's only putting one shell in there. Hold on. Not to be a fake Doom fan, but does he even load two shells on the normal SSG? Oh, no, I don't remember. I think it's two. Am I complaining about something that... It's like already like that. <clears throat> Ooh, here I made what I would, I, I think is a mistake, right? Oh, no, 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 it's not, it's not, never mind. I thought I forgot to get the other secret. No, I, I already got it. It was on one of those little tower things, there's a secret button. <clears throat> this fight is a little tricky. And, not, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like this fight. I felt. I, I felt incentivized to take it really slowly, because it's tough to get close enough to the revenants for a short time, which is what you need for a good SSG and run away. Maybe I could have done the shoot back and forth these thing and then kill him quickly that way, but. That's, that's not really the difficulty that this map set demanded, so I didn't really do that for the skill required for it. Though having that fast reload is just really nice. Well, I feel really incentivized to take this area slow, because those pole things have a tremendous hitbox. You really got to give them some width.
That's how you know we're on boom. And be up to those side too, but only 11. So I I'm within one Revenant missile. It's not likely it would need to be at least a 60. But, you know, you don't want to risk that. There we go. Let's see if I can figure out how to get out of here. Cool vending machine. I don't know if this is the right way. Come on, man. I kind of like how the chain gun sounds with the deeper volume. Is that the right word for it? Deeper sound. Oh, and all of the levels interconnect really nicely. Like this shuttle area is how map three is going to start. Can I just show that off like right now? So it's like we can we can tell how epic that is that they do the continuity. Yeah, I mean, that that's pretty cool. Not a lot of sets do that sort of thing. And likewise, where map two started. You know, remember, we finished map one going into the spaceship, and now we're in the spaceship. Okay, I, got, I gotta look. Like, just for me. Just for me, does the SSG have both shells reload? And it's hard to tell. I guess it's implied that it's both. But this one was pretty clearly one, in my opinion. So I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Not, not that it matters at all. All right. Cool map. Uh, definitely on the much easier side of sets. One of the ones I would recommend to a new player, perhaps. But it looks cool. Aesthetic's cool. Why not? Just We're chilling. We're grilling. 